Coming to you live from our respected rooms, it's We Have a Podcast with me, your co-host, Yappity, and Applicus. Hi, I'm hey. on the internet. Yeah, hey guys, we're here to do a Survivor Craft podcast. Uh, the show is called Survivor Craft Know-It-Alls, a parody of Survivor Know-It-Alls by Rob Sesternino, and you know the show... But you always win. We're going to talk about it and analyze it and recap it. So, yeah, honestly, nothing better to do with our time, really. Yeah, we tried to be on the show, but we did not make it on. So this is our way of being part of it. So uh, first off, you, what you saying? I didn't say anything. All I right. mouthed to the camera because I can okay. and the internet. So I guess first off, we're going to go on just straight through. No introduction. To anything. Yeah, really. I That was one thing that I wrote down, too, because it was just the teams just kind of went, and I didn't know who was on what team or who were they were talking about most of the time. And my biggest issue was when we were hearing their voices, it's nice to hear what the team's thinking about, yeah. but they should really do an interview section beforehand to talk about each team member and like their strategies or something. Uh-huh. If for nothing at all, just so we can match a voice to the name, because it took me forever to figure out whose voice is whose, except for Country Boy. Hey, country, country Boy, boy we definitely country know, but more on him really later. To, yeah, we'll, we'll talk like, about him later. Yeah, like, well, what they should have done is what they did in the past, is when they introduced the uh, players, just like they did in a ring announcer style. Like, next up we have LCLC Lulu. I did the... Who's next? Are you lagging? Stop moving. I stop moving. I do that. Okay. <laughs> So that yeah. was good, yeah. We have yeah, it's like how they did with uh, the press the button to Spencer shoots out what team you're on. I understand how I they couldn't talk. exactly do it the same way because Spencer only has so many slots, I guess. Yeah. And if you were to put two pieces of wool into one slot, the whole randomizer gets a little bit less random. You're more likely to get on that team, or are you least likely? Even then. I, I, don't, I don't know the algorithms. I've memorized enchantment algorithms. I didn't bother with Spencer's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but even then, but no introduction. We just kind of got their normal intro that they do. The animated one, and then Meaty or Guns. I still can't distinct by the two names, even though I've seen like all of it. It's Meaty's the brown hair one. Yeah, Guns but that's is the like the blonde. voice though. But they just like went ahead and just clicked it open, and then. Do you want to talk about the teams right now? Um, let's go into the yeah. Let's go into the teams and talk about how they did in the survival aspects of everything. All right. But so- one thing that I'd like to say right before we got started to that, I noticed that both the teams were really confused. Uh-huh. And it was really funny because I think they forgot that it was a survival map. They started playing it like an adventure map. Yeah, they like kept they, dying a lot. They had to be reminded that you had to place dirt, that you were allowed to place dirt and break blocks in order to like, get across lava. They were all trying to parkour it. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure what happened beforehand, or I, I can't even tell if that was the host's fault or if the players were just. I don't know because it's a survival game. It's survival. You've And not like survival games like Minecraft. Like Minecraft survival games or uh-huh. SG or the Hive or anything, but like it's a survival map. You can break blocks, you place blocks, you collect materials and that kind of stuff. Not everything that you do has to be collecting stuff in chests, and that's what really everyone was looking for chests and forgot that it was a survival map, not an adventure map. And with and, notes with that, there's no death penalty. They kept they kept dying in that lava cave. Yeah, that's that is a big thing. Death penalty is that would encourage PvP a lot more. Yeah. That that can. When they said no death penalty, I'm like, wait, what? when did this happen? Yeah, like, they didn't even talk about it. They're just like, no death penalty. They Even the players were confused by that. Yeah. And, but basically, I think we should go with the teams right now. So we got green team, uh, Eater, I think. I never liked yeah, the names. I, I'm just going to go with green. Yeah, green and blue. I can't tell them apart. It's, we could have probably watched the original ones, but yeah, I couldn't tell for this series. It I couldn't tell them apart because they weren't reintroduced, but. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they were, and I just forgot. But oh well. So first up on my list, I we got L C L C underscore T or Lulu as they called her, and my first impression, girl. That's all I know of her. Like, yeah, me too. Other than ta- if I wasn't gonna talk about the rest of the match and just kind of the survival aspect, who? Who? Yeah, That's, who? Yeah, who? <laughs> I a had, girl. Oh, I, yeah, a girl. A girl. It's that... girl voice. That was one of the voices I could actually do because it was like, oh, a girl. Yeah, but that was it. I had no idea who she was. That's it. Or anything. Maybe. I don't don't think we even saw her when she was in the house the whole time. I think yeah. I don't even know. She... I honestly, I don't know what Green was doing 
they were in the yeah, house. Either, yeah. It took me forever just to find each individual person so I could just write down their names for a later reference. Yeah. I had to research through the video, but yeah. So I guess we'll move on with uh, Draydon 2 or Crash Bandicoot. That skin. Oh, yeah. Okay, again, wait. here's another again, tip. Who? If you're going to be on the show, get a skin that we can distinct you by. <laughs> so, like, we saw Blastoise, we saw Naruto, we, got, see, we saw Crash. We can tell, but if you're just a generic skin, we're just going to call you that. If you're I, Steve, yeah, no. that would be hilarious. I would love for someone to go on in a Steve skin just so I can make jokes. That would be great. <laughs> but, uh,. So on anything on Crash, I got nothing. Me neither. I don't even know if he spoke at all. He he had one text message. Uh -huh. I think he had one message, something yeah. about like Hero Brian. I think that's what it was. Oh, watch I'm out! Hero Brian's behind you, Naruto. Yeah, or something like. That. I think that was. Wasn't that him? Yeah, there's a lot of Naruto jokes during that challenge. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you I have can't no even idea. Tell. I don't think yeah. it's our fault. It's not our fault as recappers. Yeah, it's not not our fault. We we have no idea who the heck you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> I and I don't. Ah, uh, he has absolutely no presence at all, and I don't. I didn't see him working with the team. But then again, I didn't see a lot of green doing much other than a. Uh, what I have here, blood, uh, blood fox and uh, Thraskin did good though. Oh yeah, blood fox green. first out of the gate came rushing to the PVP zone. Like yeah, that's the one thing on my list. Like, I like Blood Fox just charges he's, out. He's he's my choice for a uh, top two. I think he's gonna make it to the top two. I'm gonna see him far, but I think Blue might dominate and ultimately do a pagonking, which is in Survivor terms is once a Blue team, yeah. like if Blue team has the upper have the have the numbers in the merge, if they have three to two, they're just gonna eliminate all of Green and then they're gonna eliminate themselves, which I think Blue might do. Who Maybe, knows? but remember uh, first season. What was his name? Bentley. Uh, no, the guy who did really bad in the very beginning, who did really bad on the bar. Speedy. Park. Speedy, yeah, because he was in the same position where he got he got merged over with the team with all high numbers, but he still made it to top three. Yeah, well, that's because because he, he was a he was a likable guy. Oh yeah. Well, didn't he? No, I think he actually. I think the t uh, Bentley -ish team. I think they threw the challenge. So. So. Uh, Speedy can stay. I don't know. We'll never know until we actually talk to them. But if we ever talk, if to we them. ever talk to him, but I'd love to talk to Bentley. He's a really cool guy. Yeah. From what I saw, anyways. But, but we yeah, can talk like about it. season one later because yeah, like, season ah, one. This is season three. We need to see, okay. talk about season Memories. three. Memories. Okay. Yeah. Season so, three. Thrashkin, beard man. That's what I would like to call him with the skin. <laughs> yep. I I liked him. First impressions. I liked him. I could actually match a voice to him too, which was nice. I that was the voice, but yeah, the he two, seems cool. The, the two guys from uh, Green that I really like are Blood Fox and Thraskin. Yeah, I would those guys agree. really made an impression on me. Uh, I'm pretty sure Thras. My guess is Thrasen's gonna make a top three. All right. Uh -huh. So I think I think Blood Fox is gonna make a top two, and Thrasen's gonna make a top three. Those are my favorites for Green Team. All right. So that's your predictions. Yep. Thrashkin, I'd give a merge. I would say merge. Mm. That's far. But uh, for and I guess since we've been talking about Blood Fox all time, let's move on to Blood Fox. I call him generic male. That actually did something. <laughs> Because that's yeah. what his skin was, you know? Yeah, that, but I, I liked him, yeah. yeah. He was good, yeah, he's cool. He did good in the beginning, took up, a, took up a leadership role too, started instructing what to go, and that's the only time that Green Team actually got anything done, mm -hmm. was then Blood Fox was telling him what to do, go right way, do this, we gotta do this in order to finish this puzzle, do the parkour. And out of everyone on Green Team, I definitely think that he did the best. Yeah, I would have to agree. And I see him going far. Definitely merge. I don't know how... He might be taken out during merge because he's a big threat. Do you have any top two guesses at all? Top, I, I, <laughs> after after this episode, I'll talk about my top two guesses. Okay, okay. And I guess we'll move on to White Chocolate Naruto. <laughs> I I think he's gonna become the fan favorite. Fan favorite? Yeah, I, I think would have he to is. agree just because of the f Naruto jokes. But that's yes, it. It's they're they're not gonna vote him off just because he's not even he doesn't even have that much of a presence but just because of his naruto skin <laughs> people just throw jokes around and he's just he's become a funny guy but i've rarely ever heard him speak at all yeah. i don't have i don't have a match to a voice yet yeah me neither. but i think he's gonna do pretty good just because people like him yeah so that but that works that's that that works yeah, that works yeah so yeah. i guess now we'll move on to blue team buggity boo First up on my list is Z username. 
who is also just boy because that's his the skin. Z username? Z user X I I I username. Oh, okay. I've, He's the I've, one that actually spoiler I've, alert I read won the challenge for blue team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the one that did the final shot, and I have a star next to him on this list because he made co he helped make the comeback for Blue Team. Yeah, he did good. And I think that's but, all I got from him the whole episode. Yeah, if, yeah me too. But really, if he hadn't have, uh, come, done that comeback and won the challenge for him, I think Ursi would have gotten voted off. Ursi? Yeah. I would have to agree with you with that yeah, one, actually. Yeah. Almost, almost lost the challenge for him. It was, yeah. That's where they lost all the ground, and I think that unless... Isn't Ursi a girl too? Ursi is a girl. I think they said okay. so. They said she okay. a couple times. Okay. okay. Going back to uh, Naruto, mm -hmm. I, I think Naruto actually is the one that actually lost the challenge for them. So I'm kind of surprised that they didn't vote him off unless they have an alliance or they get annoyed of Lulu. Well, I can't say Lulu because it's LC, LC. But yeah. anyways, uh, I can't. I kind of understand them voting her off uh -huh. because she didn't do all that great in the challenge either, she and I think her and Naruto. I mean, she has like a oh. touch pad. Not a oh, that pad. might if they had known that, then that might have been a, had an impact on that as well. Yeah. It's, yeah, th that doesn't that doesn't work. Nope. Mouse pads, no. But yeah, makes sense. And yeah, so I guess from username we'll go move on to Kyo Takashi or Blastoise, <laughs> the Blastoise skin. Mm -hmm. Who, a non-entity in the whole thing? Don't yeah, even... I've got nothing to say. I have absolutely no notes next next to Kyo. Other than Blastoise. Yeah, I've got nothing to say. That's uh, that's it. Okay, we'll just yeah, move on. Not our fault. We, there's nothing there. <laughs> yeah. You watched the episode. You probably already have, but there's uh, nothing there. Nothing. So okay. now I guess well well I'm gonna the next person on my list I want to talk about but we're gonna save him for last just for the sake that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you are annoyed of him. And mm -hmm. Ursi, again, generic male skin. I guess it's the Steve skin, but, you know, girl. Another girl. Non-entity. I give. She's going to get voted off soon, I think. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think if Blue Team loses an immunity challenge, I think Ursi's going to be voted off. Yeah. Although I really hope she isn't. Really? Oh, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later, though. We'll talk about that. Okay, okay next so is who's, who's Vix. Next? Uh, Vikes. How, how do you like him? He I love up. him. No, He's I don't great. get it. Okay, he has a hood and then he has an accent. That's the one thing I like about him. He has an <laughs> That's accent. All that you were he did great in the survival aspect. He didn't take much up as much of a leadership role as Blood Fox did, but uh -huh. he still took up a leadership role, directed people where they had to go. He probably did the best other than Country Boy who ran for the center right away. Yeah. I think he did the best during the survival aspect of getting things together and wanting to complete those challenges. Do they even have challenges, though, they for the survival aspect? Mm, they like didn't what? talk about it. What do you mean? Like a, uh, like for the first season, they had like collect so many diamonds. You oh get no, a full they never had that. Nope. What? They didn't talk about. I mean, they had. I mean, they had that probably, but they didn't talk. Not for this they season. They didn't. I don't know if they yeah. have. Or, we don't know. Yeah, we don't. They didn't but really talk. We about don't it. know. We don't know. That's number one thing you should get from this episode. What's going on? Yeah, <laughs> we're confused. Kind of, they kind of we're just like threw us confused. in there. But don't but, worry. That's why we're here to help you guys. Yes, but. Also, it, it also did, he also did really good in the challenge, uh -huh. and there were a lot of... I also have a match to a voice right away. He's a funny guy, and I just... Th this quote, this quote, the cow moved. How dare he? <laughs> and then kills the cow. I love that scene. I just... I really like Vix. I think he's going to make it all the way. He's my other top two that I think is going to make it top two, and I think he's going to be the one. I... Yeah, merge, <laughs> merge, merge. I give a merge. All right, that's it. Uh, but okay, can we just talk about his biggest mistake that he did? Sure. sure. He went in close to the green team side and died and lost all his stuff for blue team. That is the one thing. But also, wasn't there was another person right behind him though? Wasn't no, that like was that was that was Thrashkin that killed him. That was behind him the whole time. Ultimately, he went into a one v four. He did take out two people, but in the end, he lost everything and he didn't really gain anything from that. That's true. And since there was no death penalty, you know. Yeah, so, and I think all he lost was, like, Enchanted Chain, though, right? Still, it's still a loss. Good thing and, he got rid of the diamonds. Also, yeah, the 42 diamonds or something. We also don't know how much each material is worth. Yeah. So, I mean, if that, if that's all the diamonds they're going to get for the entire game, then Chainmail is actually going to be worth quite a bit. Yeah. So, we actually don't know the worth of his loss. It could be nothing, because, like, in Season 1, 
they all got diamond right away. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. think there was anyone with iron armor during the entire time. Like, the only time they got iron armor is they won it from a challenge and then immediately upgrade to diamond. Yeah, because they already had so, diamond even then. Yeah. By that point. So, I don't... See, I don't... We don't know how much each material is going to be worth this round. It's different yeah. every season. So, it's, that's... What he lost could have been nothing. It could have been dirt. Might as well could, have been dirt. Or it could have been the entire match. Yeah. It could have been the rest of the game. We don't know. So we'll put like a pin know. on that. That's we'll gonna find be out like, more episode though. I bet yeah, too, because we'll this see. is this is episode one. So other than Vix, now we'll move on to your favorite <laughs> country boy. His voice. His voice. I like before it, you. It makes my ears bleed. Before That's I even watch the episode, uh, we did like quick notes. I skimmed through it, and Epicus sent me to Country Boy. I want him gone. I'm annoyed of his voice, and I haven't watched the whole episode yet. So I was like. Okay, fine. I'll I'll keep a note of that. And I listen to him, and he just yells into his microphone. And it's squeaky. It screeches, and it's squeaky. Ah, uh, it's 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 like I don't I don't know if it's a bound bad mic, a bad motherboard sound, or if it's a bad computer, or if it's a bad voice. Maybe he he's yells. eleven. No, apparent apparently the uh. youngest on the team is um the youngest in the game is Ursi at thirteen. Really? Okay. Yeah. Apparent. That's what um that's what it was Blood Fox put that as a uh, a comment on the video. Oh okay. Um, I don't know how I saw it, but I did. <laughs> or, or at least it's supposed to be Blood Fox. It's like Blood Fox one two three or something. Yeah, or probably. Or one, one five four. So it's it was the same username. So unless someone made another account with the same numbers and everything just to post that. Uh huh. And so Ursi's the youngest apparently at thirteen. So but so Country Boy must be at least thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, and but still. I mean, no offense, but also all the offense in the world, but uh, your voice, it hurts. <laughs> it really hurts. Sorry. We're sorry, but it hurts. Baby, I was born that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> other than okay, other than his voice. Other than his voice, he did right good. There. He did really good. He did Wasn't, really good. Didn't he also take out, for uh, for his team, didn't he also take out the hardest target? I think so, yeah, the, the first, first one. That was him. Yeah, so he's done great. I don't think he's gonna get voted off anytime soon. But voice, unless they're annoyed of him. Yeah, that's the one thing. He yells into his mic. He kind of also, even though it was a good thing at the time, he kind of went off and did his own thing in the survival aspect of it. Yeah, which was good, but it could have been really, really bad if team had if Green team had their act together. Mm -hmm. The only reason he survived is because Green was clueless. Yeah, <laughs> that, I see Blue team having the strong advantage in the beginning, and mm -hmm. maybe to the end definitely so that's buggity boo and Just... eater <laughs> unless you want to talk anything any notes on any of them left on any of them specifically yeah. um i'm not surprised lc got voted off i mm, think yeah. for green team i think uh dreadon is going to be the next one to be voted off and i think ursi is going to be the next one to vote it off for blue if they uh lose the challenge I will and i want to see more green, of yeah. keo and user yeah, I, I don't know anything about them, and also Vix. I like Vix. <laughs> those, those are that. That's my thing in a nutshell. That's your fan favorite. All right. Yeah, that's my favorite. Though I think White Chocolate's gonna be the actual official fan favorite. I'll agree on the most part. Other than the fan favorite and uh, Crash Bandicoot being voted off next. Other than that, Ursi's gonna be gone. I think. Green Team. I think they need to get their act together. Mm, definitely. Really, yeah. But then again, they already recorded it. But so though, let's well. just. Let's move on to the episode past that. Death Valley, what do you think? I think it looks cool. Definitely looks cool. Whoever whoever built the map did an excellent job. I was very impressed, very happy with the results. I like the idea of having a PvP area yes. in the center. That's yeah. great. Having no death penalty is not such a great idea. No. Mm -hmm. There's no real feeling of risk. I mean, you could run naked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you naked as in the minecraft sense and just run over and onto their side and search for stuff real quick and then run back yeah without having any risk and like if they had missed a chest or something and i can see that oh they missed a chest yeah the other team deserves to grab it but uh -huh. they should still have to work for it instead yeah. of just running over and then oh i died oh well i've got to go again they uh -huh. could just run after run after run after run and if three or if like yeah, if like two or three of the guys just keep doing that, just keep running over to the other side and antagonizing the other team, yeah. that's going to be a huge advantage. Yeah, 
even so, with only two or three guys actually working on stuff, it's, the other team's going to have their hands full dealing with the intruders. Even though you can't cross that line, still getting close, is that's a small area. Yeah, so, like, the whole, like, if they were ever going to introduce, like, something like ter- ter- territory control during the PvP zone, that's completely Ooh. thrown out the window with no death penalty. Oh, yeah, they can't do any territory, but I... Uh, but they ha- they have the no entry zone. Yeah, that's but something. Still, but yeah, they're I mean, not going to be gaining any territory. They're not going to be like, okay, we're going to build out this far. And I don't think they would do that in the first place, even if it was implemented. Uh-huh. They have enough room to play the game uh-huh, and yeah. collect their stuff. But, mm. but actually, that's another thing I'm interested in. Are all the resources gone now? Uh, no, there's still a lot of iron and still a lot of diamonds around and but coal. Like, but is there anything like in the ground, or is everything on the surface where you can see it? We don't know. We'll have to see. Well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Um, I have use for this. What else? Oh yeah, what they kind of said in passing was the hidden immunity idol is oh, out. I forgot about that. Yeah. Which what does I it even look put like? equals great. The hidden immunity idol, which I'd love to be implemented, and finally it's implemented in such a great way where it's hidden around the map somewhere. And apparently it's closer to the green side because uh, Blood Fox was close to it. Yeah. So. Apparently, I remember that. Apparently, so, so we'll see keep, what happens. Keep your eyes out, see if you can spot it. And I'm really excited once they implement that, and when that happens, when it's in the game, and I'm excited to see the hidden media idol. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Uh, I think, is it? Is that the clock? Which one? See, it's the hidden media idol. Isn't it a clock? Season one, it was a clock. Season two, we didn't see it at all. And so, but but that's the thing. Imagine if that that's a strategy though too if you were to like find out what it looks like uh-huh. or even if no one knows what it looks like you can like build a clock and then say uh, no 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 not uh-huh. to the host you won't be able to show the host but okay. you can make alliances that way saying hey you're not going to be able to vote me off anyways oh. so let's team up against this guy but it's not our actual real immunity idol that's what they do for like on survivor they make mm-hmm. fake immunity idols mm-hmm. and that's it's been it's- effective Except Sometimes. that in Minecraft, you can't tell which is the real and which is the fake. Yeah. Unless it's like renamed. Or it's probably enchanted. Re- no, yeah. but it's probably renamed so uh-huh. that uh, I don't think it's enchanted, but it's probably right. renamed so that the host can tell what it is. But you're not going to throw somebody an immunity idol to let them know it's real. So yeah. there's no way to actually prove it. I think that would work really well, especially against the younger guys. Great idea. Yeah. I like that. Um, what else? Uh, Lava Trap. What do you think? Was it such a good idea to go? straight into it? Uh, like I said, they kind of like I said earlier, they kind of thought of it as an adventure map instead of survival map. Uh-huh. So the whole aspect of lava, you can punch dirt and put it in. Lava's not that big of a deal if it's survival. So it's not that bad at all. True. I guess I they kind of they kind of made it look bad by jumping in and trying to parkour and dying yeah. all the time. So that was their fault. Another reason why we need death penalty because it makes people think. Yeah. Don't so think I otherwise. Think, sorry, I think that's like the biggest complaint throughout the whole sh- yeah. show. Yeah. Death penalty. Death penalty. And what is going on? Capital those, those punishment. Are, those are the two things. Oh, my Death biggest complaint. Penalty. Yeah. And what's going on? And my complaint just... is this is going to be Death Valley. No, this is going to be Cake Valley. Because oh. I hate how they give food right before a challenge. That gets rid. That gets rid of the whole survival aspect. For that is a good point. But for actually, challenges. Did you see any food at all throughout the entire game? No, just cake. Just cake in the challenge. That was it. I didn't see any pigs or cows or any way to get food. No kind of wheat. Maybe it's in a chest somewhere. They're but I farming. think I think I saw a green put up a farm. Yeah. So they're farming for something. But I can understand why they would need some food for a challenge because for the parkour you might need a sprint jump uh-huh. and then if your hunger runs out you can't sprint anymore I guess and they did kind of live throughout a whole day too so having one refill once every two and they don't have a challenge every day either we only see so much of it I think yeah so maybe they do have a challenge every day or even a couple times a day depending on do you have like the they have the, like the reward challenge and they have the immunity challenge I think they have those each in a day like, it all depends. It all depends. I mean, I do I, agree I, with you on your I points. I can understand that there are some portions where you do need some food, but uh-huh. if they could have it, so like the challenge is in a separate world, 
so that your food is so like ev- so like everyone gets to like a uh, multiversed over uh-huh. so that you have a new health system a new hunger system so when everyone gets moved back they have the exact same hunger that they did before I think that would work really well that could work I don't know it might be too complicated for them but we'll it's see. not that hard it's like TP all to world true or, and th- with how big it is they could probably get, even if it doesn't exist which I highly highly doubt they could get a uh, I've seen it used before, but they could get a uh, private developer to code it too, for like so for that kind of plugin. Oh, it wouldn't be very expensive. It'd be a, yeah. it's just a little thing. So yeah, it wouldn't be very expensive at all to, to code something like that. Yeah. And with how big it is, with how they're being sponsored, with all this oh, yeah. crazy stuff. Asus. I mean, uh, yeah. And stuff. I've always pronounced it Asus. Have Asus. I been saying it wrong? I don't know. I don't whatever. Know. Pronounced and heard it aces from all my tech friends. Not true. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. I don't. I don't know, and I don't care. We don't know. S U S. We don't know. We don't know. Well, technically, they informed us about that part. Maybe true. they. Maybe I don't know. We maybe didn't pay Asus, attention. Maybe Asus doesn't care. <laughs> Asus Asus doesn't care. But I'm just like, gonna tell you like throughout the whole show, now. it's gonna be Survivor Craft Death a Cake Valley. I'm, I'm just gonna call it now Cake Valley. Cake Valley. So we were talking about death penalty. No, there's no. I mean, there's no capital punishment, which mm-hmm. I don't like. Uh, Vix made a risky move. Nice comeback by Blue during the challenge. What do you think about the challenge? Actually, let's talk about it. The challenge wasn't that bad. I I think it was nice. It wasn't it wasn't drawn out and it wasn't too short. It, it was a nice, quick, challenging challenge. It was and if good. you notice, it was a throwback to the first immunity challenge that they did yeah. during season one. They just added the parkour section. And I actually enjoyed it, you know. I liked it. It wasn't bad. And it had a little bit of tension in the end. It was good. Yeah. And, and then actually, White Chocolate had to go ruin it. Yeah. Well, my heart actually, like, raced when I first time when I first watched Wait, it. Wait, no. Not White Chocolate. White Chocolate did fine. What am I talking about? Who 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 ruined it? I don't remember. Um, uh, Look at who my lost? notes. Oh, it- I don't think anyone actually ruined it. Ruined it. They all did supposedly okay, except for Elsie. But Elsie was also in the very beginning. Yeah, but so she didn't hinder them at all. It was White Elsie- Chocolate. No, yeah, no, White Chocolate uh, lost them the game because he spent way too long, and he. Also, like- they also left the hardest target for him, though. I think oh, yeah, he spent. True. I think he spent relatively uh, just maybe a couple. S- seconds longer than Country Boy did on the hardest target. Because remember, Country Boy spent a lot of time on the hardest target and ended up behind in the first place. Yeah, that's true. Um, so other than challenge, anything else you want to talk about during the challenge? Oh, I think we're good. Um, I think one we, thing could, is we probably would have done great during the challenge. Oh, we would have done that. Um, Excellent! I'm a professional sniper. No, but I'm, I'm not bad with the bow, but... yeah. I'm uh, also, happy. on my note, uh, Dem and Naruto lines throughout the whole challenge. It was great. That's why I said I think he's going to be the fan favorite. <laughs> but, oh, my... I think this is going to be my number one thing. My number one thing is player interviews before the game starts. Not just not just the whole thing where punch the thing, get the wool. is uh-huh. actually talk to them so we can connect a voice with the name and the face and kind of get an idea of what their strategy, what their play style is. Because otherwise we won't form attachment to the players. Uh-huh. Like when when uh, Elsie got voted off, not a surge of emotion. I, I didn't care. Nope. I didn't care. Yeah. Sorry, Elsie. I have no idea who you are. I have absolutely no attachment to you and I just frankly didn't care. Touchpad girl. Yeah. That's it. Girl. That, girl. that was all I got from me was girl. I didn't even know that she had touchpad until you started talking. Yeah. yeah, just girl. I'm like, oh, girl got voted off. That's too bad. Yeah, that's pretty much eh. it. So interviews. We need interviews. We yeah, need to know will. who's who. Why, actually, should we, why, should, why should we like this guy? Why should we I like care? his name. It has a capital letter and no numbers in it. Yeah, that's pretty much we call them confessionals too. <laughs> and what's great is that they filmed everything already. So players are... F- can feel free to say anything they want to the camera by themselves. They yeah. can tell who's in their alliance and who they're gonna backstab. Mm-hmm. And that yeah, so definitely add more of a confessional aspect to it. But even the first, the very first one shouldn't even be a confessional. This is before they even get picked for their teams. Oh yeah, it's just voices. Just my main thing is we need voice, name, combine. Yeah, and who? That's that's my biggest thing. Is I like shows that I can get in touch with the players, or not like communicate, but like uh-huh. 
I can get attached to him. I can root for this guy because I really like. That's why I liked uh, Bentley in the very first one. Yeah. Because he was the very first guy that I actually attached a voice to a name to, and uh-huh. he seemed like a cool guy. He was the first one that I formed a personality around. I was like, oh, this is the first guy I actually know, and that's why I liked him the whole time. Well, that and who was that girl? I don't remember from season one. The girl that was so bossy. Ooh, I didn't like her, but we're not talking about season one. Yeah. <laughs> she should have gotten bone off sooner. But yeah, we're not talking about season one. Uh huh. Uh, we're so, talking about season three. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, LC got voted off. We already talked about okay, that. Okay, so let's let's end this with uh, your favorite person. Who you think is going to get voted off on each team, and the one thing you would change. We we gotta analyze our strategy first, though. Oh, like, it's what we would do. Yeah. Well, what would you have done? What would I have done? I would have ran for the center right away. Grabbed one other person and run for the center right away because everyone else there's it in the end. Wow. No one has any gear at that point, so it's going to turn into who, it, the people who meet at the center. It's either going to turn to whoever grabs the first chest first, because uh-huh. they're going to have even a wooden sword over punching. Wooden sword is going to win easily. Or it's going to turn into a punching match. Yeah. And there's lava. So I, I would have ran for the center right away, grabbed one other person, and gone. What about you? It would have to depend on my team, on my tribe, because. One of the things that I've noticed that it really is a, just a group thing. So if your group goes all into the cave and like die, I'm gonna join them only so that way I can do join in their kind of gimmicks and I can be accepted into the group. Mm, so like that you way don't you wanna don't... be left out. You don't be the loner. Like even mm. though it's gonna be like who does the most work, but if your team is gonna go down, at least you go down with them and you can vote off the other people. But if we're gonna split off, I'm actually gonna stay home and gather trees, plant seeds. And take care of the home. Make sure my tribe has food and yes, gets ready. <clears throat> that's the point. Well, that's how I play. That's how I play Minecraft anyway. I mean, I play I know, Minecraft. I know, I, play, I know, I know. I'm like I a know. stay-at-home mom, so that's what I, I do. <laughs> I just like teasing you. <laughs> it's oh. fine. But very, very different play styles. Definitely. Yeah, very different. For me, it would like have to depend. You will just go yeah. straight out. Yeah, I would okay. go straight out for the center because that's where all the good stuff is. And if anyone else meets me out there. By the time that I've been sprinting out there, then it's going to turn into a punching match, and I can usually do pretty good. I'm okay. I'm fairly adequate PvP here. So yeah, especially now with the lava around. <laughs> so now I guess it's time for predictions. Um, predictions, ha <laughs> ha. All right, if I was gonna have to, to final what? Final three, final three right now. You're not gonna like this, country boy. Final three. I think he's gonna be in the final three. At uh, least that's definitely the thing merge. Is I can't, I can't argue because I think he might be able to make it too. But I really don't want him to. He's gonna make the merge. I know that for, for a fact. But I kind of want him to make a final three just to spite you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Vix, Vikes. How do you say his name? Vikings. Vix. Vix. I call him Vix. Vix. I'm thinking of the no nasal easy. thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with Vix. Uh, Vix. I think final three definitely and. Blood Fox. Oh no, my board! Shoot, I almost dropped it. <laughs> those those three are kind of the main, like, they're like the alpha players right now. Mm. If any, like, beta players are going to, like, undermine them and blindside them, I can't see that happening because these guys are going to be the main threats yeah. to vote off, but who knows? History hasn't really done that. I mean, during the first season, they had a chance to vote off Bentley during the Final Four. They didn't do that. Not sure. Good. Yeah, so that's... That's where I think they have poor... Co- I think it's a poor communication. No one... They grow too close together, and no one really wants to vote off anyone else, so I don't think uh-huh. they... I don't think they were ever talking about the beforehand. But then again, no confessionals, so we don't really know. Yeah, we don't know! We don't know! No don't cutthroating, know. no backstabbing. I mean, you've, you've, season 2 did that. With, they got rid of Lego Boy and... No, Block Boy and Lego... Kid... I have no idea. I don't remember. Kind of season two, I kind of just it's not really squares. memorable. Season one, we'll we'll uh, talk about that the most often. One. But who do you think is gonna win? Just if you're gonna Vix, Vix, you're gonna put Vix. All right, uh, I'm gonna put money on Vix. Well, I'm not gonna put money, but <laughs> Blood well, Fox, Blood Fox. I'm gonna go with Blood Fox. Well, those are my top two. I definitely right. think these two guys are gonna make the top two, but I think Vix is gonna take it all. I'll go with Blood Fox. All right, so. That's it. If so they're put... make it, this is going to be very embarrassing later on. <laughs> so I just put my board down and 
yeah, we finished recapping slash uh, analyzing C episode one of Survivor Craft. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. If you haven't watched season one, definitely go back to season one. Watch that too in your spare uh -huh. time because it's a great series. Absolutely love it. And otherwise, we won't be talking about it. Although we give a lot of criticism, we really do love the series and we're definitely not going to stop it's watching it. Because we're it. such big fans that we're giving criticism. Like, I'm a huge fan of Survivor, the show, anyway, and Survivor Craft came along. I loved it. And, yeah, we're just trying to hear just the... We're just fanboying over the show right now. <gasps> oh. And Keep we tried to get on, and no, nah. to no avail. No I was even the top comment for, like, a week, and I still didn't get it. Then a video cough, response... Cough, 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 cough. <laughs> I had a little bit of help, but I was still top comment yeah. for a while, and still, oh well. Okay, hold up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I need to put a sign. That's what I need to do. <laughs> I have right. a sign. Yeah, All right, just real quick, it. just let's end the show right now. So, you okay. know what? Plug your YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Vimsect. Uh, this video will be on there anyways. YouTube.com <laughs> slash Yappity XD. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, Median Guns. XD Hopefully, because smiley face and laughing. Yeah, you're kind of freezing. But, uh, Median Guns, don't sue us. Don't give face? us a cease and desist. Ooh. Oh, wait. You're Why lagged. would they... You can't sue a commentator. You're lagging a bit, too. That's the perfect time to cut it off, then. Oh, yeah. Right. Bye, guys. See you next episode. See ya next week.